Hey yo. So, thinking about Warhammer 3, I guess I should go through some more prediction stuff. Um, one, because that's what people want to talk about at the moment. So, there's that. And also, too, I was thinking about it. It would be interesting um, to go through each faction. So, the idea was just to go through each faction, think about the seven we know that are coming in, <clears throat> including the Ogre Kingdoms, and uh, give my initial thoughts on how each of the older factions is going to perform in the new the new meta. So the two th the two types of battle I'm going to consider are straight up battle, you know, where you go out, you fight somebody, and when their army breaks, you win, and the capture the point. Um, those are the two. So I'll try to consider both those when I think of a faction's relative power ranking. Um, yeah, this is a rough list. You can see there's better, same, worse. Same being like, mm, they'll be about as good as they are now. Um, better being they'll perform obviously better and worse being they'll actually be a worse off pick. Other than that, uh, I'm going to try to do a relative power ranking of the Game 3 faction soon. I'm just waiting on the Nurgle and Slanesh rosters to actually come out uh, more in full than just the teaser. Other than that, I have a pretty good idea. Uh, I was mentioning a Battle Tutorials podcast, if you want to go check that out, where I think all of the races will land in Game 3. And it's just a prediction. It can be wrong, but it's fun to speculate while we wait for Game 3 to come out. All right. Anyway, let's get into it. So that'll be later. For now, we'll deal with what we know. Beast men. The men of the beasts. Hmm. Beast men. Lightly armored rush faction. Currently, they're very good. But let's ignore patches, because obviously patches come and go. Things will be better or worse. Let's just assume... This is assuming everything is perfectly balanced. As a faction, I think Beastmen will come off worse. And here's why. Lightly Armored Rush faction. I feel like they're going to do what Slanesh does. But Slanesh will probably do it better. Probably have a couple more options. Uh, they're already weak to air spam. Uh, Dark Elves in particular, I think, fare pretty well against them right now. With Marathi Double Manticore up in the sky, some Harpies, etc. Uh, they, they really don't like air spam. And there's an entire roster of Zinch that we've shown does a lot of flying, and I just think that, you know, that's going to be bad. So Zinch, Zinch will probably abuse the Beastmen, especially if they try to hold a capture point, and Zinch is just raining Hellfire upon them. Also, Zinch has a lot of, like, magic missile-type sniping spell things, and Beastmen Lords are... Lords and Heroes are really squishy to magic missile spam. So they won't like that. Slanesh is probably going to do what they do, but better. Corn is probably going to do what they do, but better. Because the Beastmen are going to run around all fast, but they're going to run into heavily armored, berserking corn units that'll just slaughter them. Uh, Nurgle is kind of like the Vampire Counts, and the Vampire Counts currently counter the Beastmen, so I don't think the Beastmen will be able to punch through all that regen very efficiently. Kislev, the Beastmen will probably do okay. That'll probably be an even matchup. It looks like some of those bear cavalry are going to be heavily armored, and Beastmen struggle with that, but the rest of the force is pretty abusable by their speed. I think the Beastmen will do well into Cathay, and I think they will trade okay into the Ogre Kingdoms. It really depends on some of the Ogre Kingdoms' numbers, but I think that'll be an even-ish matchup. Because the Ogre Kings will be too slow to really keep up with them, so the Beastmen will try to sprint circles around them. Uh, did that cover everybody? I feel like I'm missing a Chaos God. Nope. Covered them all. So yeah, also holding a single spot is not the Beastman's strong point, so I think with that addition of that game mode, the Beastman might struggle a bit. So I'll say the Beastman are going to suffer. Bretonia. Huh, I haven't actually thought about these guys too much. Hmm. I'm going to say probably about the same. Bretonia is going to come out the same, is my guess, because thinking of the factions, once again, Corn is just going to blitz straight into them, and I think they might struggle against Corn a little bit. Maybe they can kind of kite, but I think they'll struggle a bit against Corn. Zinch, they should be okay. For once, maybe the Pegasus Knights will become really meta. With Lewin flying up in the sky, they could maybe take out all those those flyers. Uh, that could be a fun matchup. Slanesh, I think, is just going to run very, very quickly to their death against Heavily Armored Knights. Nurgle will probably do okay, though you do have Peasant Fire Arrows for 425 gold, which is usually good against regen, but still. So, 
I think Nurgle might struggle against Bretonia. Kislev, I imagine, doing pretty well. They have all those throwing axes on their troops, so nice armor-piercing range. And then I think they're hybrid units, too, which Bretonia doesn't really enjoy. So Kislev will do well there. Cathay, I think that'll be a lot like the empire Bretonia matchup in that it kind of ebbs and flows as the meta develops. Um, so Bretonia comes out okay. They'll do okay. Holding points is probably not going to be their favorite game mode. They'll probably still prefer the generic kill the enemy army, but I mean, maybe they could bait you into taking the point and get a nice charge somewhere. But anyway, Dork Elves. Um, thinking Dark Elves are going to come off pretty good. They generally do well against the Chaos or Rush type factions right now. Then with four more pseudo Rush factions coming out, I think Dark Elves are actually going to get stronger. Nice armor piercing missiles on Dark Shards. Lots of Kite potential Scourge Runners are going to be good. They do have a monster ro roster if they need it. Cathay will probably be their only bad matchup. Probably. So I'm going to guess that Dark Elves will come off better. Also, they're pretty decent at holding points. Dark Elf Infantry. I mean, aside from their bleak swords, are decent. Durfs. Durfs. I'm going to pretty confidently put Durfs... Oopsies. Wee! Upside down Durfs. All right. I'm going to confidently put Durfs under same. They are currently a faction that has a lot of bad matchups and a lot of good ones. They're just a, such a polarizing faction that I don't think that's going to change. So I think Durfs will be the same. They're going to still be... A really good counter pick faction and not a great first pick faction and i do think that they while it seems obvious they would like the control points where it's like aha we get to sit on a point and there's a lot of us heavily armored dwarves we're gonna do great they have to get to the point <laughs> so they're gonna have to walk very slowly to the point so i think the capture point system is going to be like 50 50 on them because if they get there they'll do great but getting there's gonna be a tough part storms will perform about the same they're still going to be a counter pick faction empire i think is going to be better um, they're the most diverse and balanced roster in the entire game. I think that'll continue to be the, the thing. And my theory on it is the more balanced you are, the more diverse you are as a faction, the better more factions in the game is for you. Because the less, there's less things that hard counter you. I think there's still only hard counter by the dwarves. And even that's like, eh. some of my empire friends have been theory, theory crafting how to beat that one. So anyway, my point is, is like, the more factions that enter the game, the safer becoming an Empire main is, because they can kind of handle anything. Whereas, if we'll get to later, there's some factions like my Skaven that might suffer from more diverse playstyles being in the game, if that makes any sense. But Empire will get better, I think. I think it'll be a more meta pick, since it's... You're going to have to first pick something and your opponent gets to counter pick into you. Um... An empire could be safe no matter what. Greenskins. Greenskins. I think they're going to get a little worse. Uh, I think they're going to get a little, little worse. Uh, they, they're a diverse faction. They have a diverse roster. That's that's fine and dandy. They don't really like heavily armored rushes. So corn's probably going to be bad for them. Vampire counts is already a counter to them. And Nurgle is going to kind of work the same way. Uh, so they won't like that at all. They they don't love flyer spam, so Zinch is probably going to do pretty well. And also magic missiles again. Go Burr, same as the Beastmen. Uh, Slanesh probably going to be. I I would think they're going to be good into Beastmen. I mean not Beastmen, Greenskins, because they're like Beastmen where they're fast. But I feel like they're going to have more terror than the Beastmen do, and Greenskins do not like that at all. Kislev, I honestly think, will also do fine. Again, those throwing axes are going to be armor-piercing. Hybrid infantry are pretty good, where it's like they can stand and throw at Skirmish Cav or stand and throw at Stone Trolls, and if they get engaged on by goblins, they can just whip out their sword and beat them to death. So I still think Kislev will be good. Ogre Kingdom is going to be good into Greenskins, I would suspect. I would suspect, because they kind of have the Lizardmen thing going on in a way. Where they have big armored monsters, and that's big armored monsters, but greens can struggle against in the Lizardman matchup. Uh, so pretty much everything besides, again, I think Greenskins will do fine into Cathay. 
So it's like of the seven factions coming, Greenskins, in my opinion, don't like six of them. So yeah, I think Greenskins are going to get worse, which is okay. I like Greenskins a lot right now, but they had their time. Lizardmen! Hmm. Between better or same? Lizardmen, 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 Lizardmen. Probably better? Same. Same. Same? This is tough. Hmm. I'll go with better. I think the capture point mode is what's going to tip me over the edge on better. So Lizardmen... The Chaos Factions... Probably going to do okay into them. Uh, I think it'll be an evenish matchup with Nurgle. Probably going to try to kite Corn, but that doesn't currently work out against Chaos that well, so Corn might do okay. Uh, Zinch's Flyers. I think Zinch is going to be a good matchup for them because you can take Tempest with a high Slon and flying units go die die. And other than that, Chameleon Skinks and all that stuff are really good against flying units. So, yeah, you'll be fine versus Zinch. Uh, Slanesh, maybe. We need to see the values on their stuff. They might have a lot of armor piercing, in which case dinosaurs aren't good. Uh, but Lizardmen deal with rushes. Okay. So, regardless, in the straight up field fight, they're going to be okay against a lot of stuff. Kislev will probably be good against them. Kithay will probably be like me. But that's not the point. The reason I threw them into the better category is once I thought about control points, it does feel that Lizardmen will get an advantage. Because they could do. They can do both things that you need to do, right? They can stay outside of the control point and try to kill you while you stand on the control point. Because you could have, like, Mazda Mundi with Banishment, Ruination of Cities, Wreck Your Infantry on the control point, and then sprint up there and try to kill you real quick. So they could try to do that, or they could get on the point themselves and hold it with heavily armored solar engine dinosaurs and pew-pew at you. And then you have to charge uphill, like, against a Saurus box so yeah that doesn't sound fun for you so yeah i think the new game mode will help lizardmen a lot i don't think the, I think the new factions will either be bad for them or the same but again i just think that new game mode is going to help them so much that they'll end off better doom kings spicy take but i do think they're going to come off better i think tomb kings are going to be a lot better uh why is that because right now they have a lot of giant monsters that don't have a lot to do because nobody really takes giant monsters into them, but maybe, maybe with corn we saw some of the Slanesh units or giant monsteries that maybe the Necro Sphinxes will get to finally go burr and kill a bunch of things. That'd be sick. Uh, Shopty Great Bows are excellent shooters, and I mean corn especially is going to run heavily armored dudes into skeleton spearmen, and as you choose through them, they're just going to be getting bombarded by Casket of Souls. Um, Shopty Great Bows, any monsters are going to get dueled by the Hyro Titan. Um, Nurgle, I mean, sorry, the Necro Sphinx. Nurgle has a bunch of regen, and the R1 Necro Sphinx has fire damage and anti large, so that's probably going to be pretty bad for them. Um, yeah, I think Two Kings will do well, hopefully. Hopefully. I do, I want to see them do well. They're, they're cool. And they'll probably lose into Cathay. Probably do well versus Kislev, so eh. Slanesh, Slanesh will probably roll right over them. And Zinch, I don't know. It depends on how good Carrion can hold up against Zinch Flyers. But again, same as Lizardman, I think the control point system is really going to help these dudes. Because you could either just he invest heavily into artillery and bombard the control point with Ushapti Great Bow and Casket of Souls and then run in there and clean up the remains. Or you could try to take it yourself. And the undead are very good at sitting and grinding and holding this point forever while you kill them. And it's like, yeah, you're winning combat, but are you winning combat fast enough? So I think Tomb Kings will come out better. Good for you, Tomb Kings. Hopefully. High Elves. Going to shrink them down to the right size. Going to move them over here a little bit. Done. High Elves are not in the best spot right now. And I don't see that getting better. Yeah, I don't see that getting better. They don't... Their biggest, biggest, biggest problem for me is they don't have armor-piercing skirmish. They don't. They have Valyrian River archers, and then 
Ithmar chariots, I think, or the Tiernok chariots. I forget which chariot. They have a chariot that has some missiles, not a lot of ammunition. Their kite just isn't good enough. Um, Shadow Warriors are going to get run down. Because against all four Chaos factions, maybe Nurgle. Maybe because of Phoenix Guard. But anyway, let's just simplify that. Against all four Chaos factions, I really struggle to see these guys standing toe-to-toe in melee. Korn is definitely going to sprint over them. Nurgle's probably going to regen through most things, except maybe a Phoenix Guard box. Maybe? Zinch is... I mean, Tempest exists, so Zinch maybe, if he tries to air cheese, you can just out air cheese him. So maybe that one will go okay. And Slanesh, I can't imagine going well. Just a bunch of really fast armor-piercing units sprinting through you. Sounds pretty bad for the High Elves. Mm. Kislev, probably an even matchup, but armor-piercing throwing axes go burrow, and most of your monsters are heavy cav, and then... Um... Cathay. Cathay and Ogre Kingdoms. Ogre Kingdoms, you'd probably be fine. High Elves would probably do fine there. And then Cathay, High Elves would probably do fine. That'll probably be an even matchup. Um, but yeah, most of the Chaos Factions are going to kite, and I don't think they can do it, which is unfortunate for them. And then the control point. They're not going to be great at holding a control point. Yeah, I just think they're going to get blitzed down. I don't see High Elves doing well. They might need some help. Scavino! Scavino. We're going in the the order that I have these pictures, by the way. I know this is an alphabetical order. Uh, Skaven are probably going to do worse. Much worse, in my opinion. So you don't, you know. Oh, the Skaven main. Boo-hooing Skaven. Let's, let's look at Hazel. She deserves some death. While I talk about Skavinos. Uh... Yeah, I don't think Skaven will be particularly fond of the changes for Game 3. Currently, they have three bad matchups. Well, okay, they have a lot of bad matchups, but the, the really bad ones are Beastmen, Chaos, and Wood Elves. Wood Elves are an anomaly. That's not really going to help what I'm talking about, so I'm going to skip it, but they just kite you. That's fine. Um, the Chaos and Beastmen, the problem is, is that they're really fast rush factions with the mix of monsters or dogs and such. And you're adding four more factions to the game that are going to do that between um, Korn, well, not really Nurgle, but we'll get back to him. So Korn and Slanesh, I can tell you right now, are going to be really bad for Skaven, especially because Korn doesn't have magic magic. He has, like, murder magic, which Bob Tresh, my friend, pointed out that you can kill, like, two units of Skaven slaves and get 300 kills, so... Yeah, we're going to be real easy charging posts for Corn, and then we're going to get magical explosions all over as he violences us to death. So that's bad. So Nash, probably just Beastman, but better than the current situation. So that's going to be bad. I think we'll do well into Cathay and Kislev. Kislev and Cathay, I think Skaven are going to do actually really well. But then Nurgle kind of plays like Vampire Counts, just big monsters regen, slowly grind the Skaven to death as they panic and flee. Oh, yeah, and then um, Ogre Kingdoms. So Ogre Kingdoms kind of combine... Actually, never mind. Fuck that. Ogre Kingdoms are going to get shot to death. They're too tall. Yeah, I can just shoot them the whole time. And their big monsters go burr as Bratling guns kill them. So Ogre Kingdoms will do fine. I think Zinch will do great because Skaven are the best anti-aircraft faction in the game? Yeah, in the game. 100%. So I think they'll do well into Zinch, Ogre Kingdoms, Cathay, and Kislev. Actually, yeah. No. As I talk about this, they're fine. They're, they're, they're fine. I think they're either going to be better or same. Probably same because of holding control points. Um, Skaven don't really like to move too much, so I think the control point game will be difficult for them. But, yeah. Never mind. I talked myself out of that one. Skaven will be fine. Not great, but fine. How many do we have left? Five. All right. Norska, worse. Worse, worse, worse. Worse, 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 worse. They just 
they're outclassed right now, and they'll continue to be outclassed in Game 3 as they add more factions that do what Norsk want to do, but better. The only way I could see Norska getting same or better is if somehow, some way, CA listens to our pleas and gives them a rework of how most of their faction works. Maybe make their monsters cheaper, like Skin Wolves. Nah, Skin Wolves are cheap and fine, but Femir need to be cheaper. Um, mammoths need a little bit more something to them to be worthwhile. I don't know. But I don't personally see that happening, at least until maybe a year after the game releases. Because on game release, there's no incentive for CA to make all these cool, shiny new factions. Look at how cool the Game 3 factions are. Also, we're going to buff Norska so they don't suck at doing what the Game 3 factions already want to do, which is run straight at you and kill you quickly. Yay! Like, there's no reason to take the wind out of their new faction sails. Um, so I, I think Norska is going to just stay in the dirt for a little bit. Vampire Coast. Coast, coast, coast. I think same. I do think a lot of the new factions are going to hurt Coast. Um, they'll probably be able to air cheese corn quite a bit. Zine shall probably win the air fight against them. Nurgle will be a weird even matchup. I'll have to see how the meta plays out on that one. Don't really know what the, the meta for them is going to be. Slanesh will probably beat up Coast a lot. And then Ogre Kingdoms, I would guess they're going to get shot to death. Cathay is probably going to out-trade Coast in the artillery game. Probably, but don't know. Could be kind of the same as Empire, where that matchup's interesting. And then Kislev, Coast will probably kill Kislev. Um, though I do think... The capture point system is going to be awesome for coasts. I think they'll love it. You know, get some nice artillery to bombard the area, and you can take it and then hold it with the same un undead grinding style that Tomb Kings love. And then your opponent has to either go deal with your artillery pieces or take the point. So, I mean, I think coasts will like that game mode. I don't think they'll like the new factions as much. Yeah, Sunesh, Corn. Well, maybe they'll be a little better. All right, let's actually sit down and think about this for a second. Corn bad, so that's one for bad. Nurgle maybe doesn't change the score. Slanesh bad, two for bad. Zinch bad, three for bad. Kislev, Ogre Kingdoms, Cathay. Kislev and Ogre Kingdoms probably good. Cathay don't know. So yeah, net one bad. So I'll leave them in the same. Vampire counts. Um, I'll put them in same. I think they're going to like the capture point system a lot, but I don't think they're going like, to like a lot of the new factions. I think Corn will run over them a bit too quick, and while they have aerial superiority, I think they'll have a problem using it because they don't have ranged weapons while in the sky. They just own the skies and they can watch their ground army die. Slanesh, they'll probably do okay against if they can withstand the first charge. Um, but I think Nurgle is going to be an interesting fight with them. By interesting, I mean very slow, but methodical. Um, the real problem starts coming with Zinch. I think Zinch is going to air cheese Vampire Counts a lot. Kislev's going to do well against them because they're probably going to have a lot of ITP from their thematic place against as the bulwark against cast, they're probably going to have a lot of ITP on their roster, which does not help the counts at all. They can also get kited by arm piercing missiles. I think ogres are probably going to do well into counts. I'm just getting the feeling that like ogres might do enough damage and be tanky enough. Because their thing is that they're slow, right? But so are the vampire counts. So once these two slow front lines collide, I think the ogres are just going to win it out, which is tough for the counts. So I don't think they like that. And Cathay probably going to be kind of like the Count's Empire matchup, where it's going to be even depending on how the meta plays out. Um, so that's a lot of bad matchups for them, but I do think that one game mode of holding the point is going to be so good for them that they'll end up at about the same power level. Same-ish. Two left. Where is the Chaos and what else? Where is the Chaos? Hmm. Probably worse. I'd put them under worse. 
Uh, they're just going to have slow, heavy infantry, which some of the new Chaos factions, I mean, Corn specifically, will do better. And they won't be fast enough to... What the fuck? Who invited you? Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. That was scary. So Corn will beat them in the infantry game. They can kite Corn, but we'll see how well that works. They don't have the best armor priest missiles. Throwing axes are kind of weird um, sometimes with Skirmish Cav, but they could do okay. Slanesh actually will probably be a good matchup into Chaos. I could see them just running over Chaos Warriors all day. That could be pretty bad. Mm, Zinch Air Cheese could be real. Yeah. Ogre Kingdoms, that maybe we'll do okay versus Ogre Kingdoms. That matchup is probably going to be even on release. I could see Cathay doing well into them. I could see Kislev doing well into them as well with more... Actually, yeah, Kislev just has throwing axes too. All that being said, I don't think the capture point game mode is going to favor these guys at all. They don't have amazing battlefield presence. They're kind of this slow, lumbering force that when they get somewhere, they're really good, but most people will know that and just take enough artillery or something to bombard their heavy infantry off the point. Um, and they will die-die, I think. So I guess chaos is going to get worse, personally. Back to me now that Hazel turned her back on you guys. And the last faction, Wood Elves. I think Wood Elves are going to be better. Better, better, better. They will love the control point game mode. They are going to take very fast, heavy-hitting archers, kill anybody on the point, take the point for themselves. If you try to take the point, they will leave and bombard you. It's going to be a bad time to be anybody fighting them on the point. Uh, as for the new factions, probably going to do well into Nurgle, like they currently do into Vampire Counts. Probably going to kite the shit out of corn and actually have the armor piercing to make it count. They'll dominate the skies because they can have... Yeah, they can have Tempest. So they can have Tempest against Zinch and Hawk Riders in the sky are no joke. Slanesh will probably be a bad matchup for them, but so far, three good and one bad isn't isn't bad. They'll probably just shoot the Ogres to death. They'll probably outrange and shoot Kislev to death, and then Cathay will be an even matchup. So yeah, Wood Elves are going to... I think Wood Elves are the biggest winner here. I think they're going to do really, really well in Game 3. And that's everybody. If you have any disagreements, that's too bad. Uh, leave a comment telling me how wrong I am, I guess, but that's it's fine, dude. It's predictions. It's predictions, bruh. And I hope you enjoyed this. And if your faction's in the better tier, be happy. If it's in the same tier, I don't know. Be happy anyway. If it's in the worst tier, rip. Rip, but I can't see them being better. Anyway, that's what I got. Goodbye forever. Wee.